As we continue along here at the RNJ Morning Program, we're marking Hispanic Heritage Month. And through the mid-September, right on through the middle of October, some really, really spectacular guests that have joined us already and will be joining us as we go through. Just spotlighting some of the remarkable people that are just having such a positive difference, not only in the community, but also in the worlds of business and entertainment and so many different other things as well. And my guest who's joining me this morning here at the RNJ Morning Program is someone we spotlighted last year, uh, really a trailblazer in the world of engineering and, and commerce and things. She is the Director of Environmental Review and Land Use Planning for a New Jersey-based company called Matrix New World Engineering. And it's great to welcome uh, Olga Abinader back to the RNJ Morning Program today. Hi there, Olga. It's Bert Barron. Welcome back, and uh, good to have you back with us this morning. Hi, Bert. Thank you so much for having me. It's, I'm glad to be here again. It's been about a year since our last conversation, Olga, and I think we talked about uh, challenges that uh, sometimes people face in the business world. Uh, I'm sure you've seen and have faced a fair amount of your challenges in your climb to your successful career and the work that you're doing now with Matrix New World. Uh, has anything changed? Uh, do you still see people facing some similar obstacles and some similar challenges as they just kind of find their way and climb the ladder in the corporate world and some other worlds that, uh, that you're a part of? Yes, absolutely, Bert. I, I think that, you know, a lot of us face what's called imposter syndrome. Uh, sometimes we feel like we don't look like the colleagues who work alongside us, especially in the field of STEM. And, you know, that makes us feel like we perhaps don't belong or don't have the skill set or don't have the perfect background uh, that can help us be competitive and, you know, very instrumental to the company. So, you know, that's something that I think we still need to work on as a community, you know, coming from the Latino community myself. Um, you know, just ma making sure that we remember that we add so much value that our cultural background is really an asset, not a detriment, and to seek out others who are supportive and, you know, very, um, w very much willing to be mentors to us as we explore and navigate um, leadership in, in various industries. Yeah. yeah, there's there's still challenges to this day, even <laughs> since yeah, uh, that, last year. Oh, I'm sure. And I'm, I'm also glad, Olga, that you mentioned about the STEM programs and, uh, you know, the yeah. curriculums that we've seen here in New Jersey. They really get a lot of attention. There's a lot of encouragement to get uh, young people today, all people, uh, get them involved in these STEM curriculums where you're, you're working with directly with mentors. And, and these are the fields that are really going to define uh, where we're going over the next several years here in New Jersey in terms of the skills that are needed to have the success. Uh, and yes. for anybody that gets involved in the STEM programs, you know, I, th I look at great corporations like yours. I look at Matrix New World Engineering, and the, yes. the possibilities are just endless for people that are in these curriculums now and then looking to join and have a positive impact and uh, into the workforce uh, into the decades going ahead. Uh, this is something that I'm sure Matrix is keeping a close eye on here in Jersey. Very much so. Matrix is a wonderful company that really encourages, um, you know, a lot of entrepreneurship, leadership, diversity. And I'm very much proud to be part of this company. And I read recently that in New Jersey, one of the top paying uh, bachelor's degrees is related to engineering uh, with over $100,000 of start, average starting salaries, which to me just blew my mind. So I hope that's encouraging to people of all backgrounds, you know, to just really get excited about STEM um, in order to not just, um, you know, help the world and contribute in their own way, but also um, know that they're going to have a financially secure career and really, um, you know, just th thrive in that, you know, from that financial perspective, which is something that's very important to the Latin community as we're continuing to grow, um, you know, grow our, and progress in, in various fields. Yeah, that's important. And when you look at uh, the, the the worlds of there that you had mentioned there about STEM and, you know, being able to be a mentor, to be an inspiration to people, you know, there's overcoming adversity, of course, is a big part of of, uh, of growing up and, and getting on into the workforce there. Uh, you're probably at the point now where you probably have some people looking up to you, like, uh, you know, you look at what you've achieved in your professional career and uh, the position that you have in, in your role with Matrix New World Engineering. Do, do you hear from young people that say, you know, what, what can I do? You know, what step can I oh, follow yeah. in your steps and be able to, you know, maybe blaze my own trail uh, in, in the worlds of engineering and, and, uh, and technology and things? Do you do people come to you and, and say that you've inspired them to, to and challenge them to do some, some big things? Absolutely. I have uh, family members who are embarking on their careers for the first time. We've just finished in college or, or in college or even, you know, earlier than that come to me and ask me, well, you know, Olga, how, how did you do it? Um, how did you get to where you are today? What can I do that's similar? 
And I always encourage them to think big, to be fearless, to take those calculated risks, and to really explore their passions. And whenever I can, I tell them about working in the engineering field, in planning consulting, and supporting, um, you know, any type of career that can help, um, you know, promote um, a, a, good, a clean environment, so to speak. And, you know, they're, they're very excited to speak with me because they, they, they see me and they see my path. And when they see me, they, they see themselves in me and they say, well, if Olga can achieve it, maybe I can too. So for me, that's one of the most rewarding and, you know, most you know, happy and joyful times that I have experienced, you know, throughout my career. Yeah, I can Someone understand that. took me under their wing and I want to take them under my wing as well. Yeah. And that's what they say mm-hmm. when you climb the ladder, Olga. Make sure you reach behind and pull someone behind you up one rung as well, right? That's kind of the way it's done. Yeah. 100%. Olga Abinader is my guest this morning here at the RNJ Morning Program, Director of Environmental Review and Land Use Planning for Matrix New World Engineering. And we're continuing spotlighting some really exceptional individuals with our uh, Hispanic Heritage Month uh, spotlight that we're doing here at the RNJ Morning Program. Uh, a little bit about your role with Matrix New World uh, Engineering. And first of all, I, I had the privilege last week to cutting a ribbon and sort of giving a grand opening to a, a park in one of our cities here in New Jersey, uh, which was completely re-engineered. It was almost like they just scraped the whole thing clean and put this beautiful new park right on top of it. And I found out that Matrix New World uh, played a key role in the engineering of something like this. Now, it, it, a park might not seem like a big deal to people, but, you know, park lands, uh, we need to take care of the park space and the open space that we have here in New Jersey. And, you know, I'm sure you know just as well as anybody, there's, uh, you know, sustainability concerns, there's renewable resource concerns, and work mm-hmm. partnering with Matrix New World, this park is going to be set for generations to come simply because of the technology and the work that went into it now. And just being able to bring this uh, this cutting edge te- technology and engineering into the program uh, really made uh, such a positive impact. And I'm sure there are a countless number of stories of, of where Matrix has had uh, that sort of impact in redevelopment and, and things like that. Absolutely, Bert. We're very proud of the work that we do at being a New Jersey-based company. It just, you know, it's it's so wonderful that we get to be involved in, in you know, projects like this. As a mother uh, myself, um, and also an expecting mother, parks are a really big part of my life. Uh, my my son, who is going to be six years old, uh, really thrives when he gets to get outside, um, you know, release a, some of his energy and get some exercise. I mean, that's that's a really big deal. So to have a beautiful park and to be a part of it. Um, and working with Matrix in order to to, to make this beautiful park, it's, it's a big deal. So yeah. It's very yeah. Yep, definitely is. And also, uh, Olga, uh, Matrix New World is kind of branching out now and doing some help, uh, helping out municipalities with the planning yep. phase. There's, there's constant change when it goes to uh, municipal planning and things here in New Jersey. And Matrix is oh, yeah. now en- entering that arena now, too? Absolutely. Uh, we have a wonderful staff of uh, urban planners who support municipalities who are looking to update their zoning resolutions or are applying for government funding, and government grants in order to plan for new sustainability and resiliency initiatives in their communities. So that is, you know, very much tied to expanding parks and greening their downtowns and so forth. And we're very excited to continue to branch out in this way. Um, We have an excellent staff, excellent experts uh, who've done planning for um, nearly 20 years or more. And it's just another way that Matrix can contribute. um, And we continue to be very proud of that. Yeah, that's really huge. And to know that there's some grant dollars that are there, whether it's from the state level or from the federal level, having somebody that can connect the municipalities with these grant dollars that are available, just having somebody that has that know-how and can really make that happen, Olga, is really just, that's a big thing for any town or any city of any size in our state. That is really such a a huge thing. Uh, As we wrap up, uh, is there somewhere where people can get some more information about Matrix New World and, and what all the great work that you guys do? Of course. Uh, our website is mnwe.com, and you can find us on all social media platforms, including LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All right. We'll be sure to check that out. Uh, Olga Albinator, uh, Abinator, the Director of Environmental Review and Land Use Planning, uh, plus special guest this morning. Congratulations uh, on that news. I didn't know you were a plus one this morning, but uh, yeah. but thank you and, and congratulations. Uh, that's really exciting news. And uh, thank you for sharing that today. And uh, great to have you on the program once again. Thanks again, Bert.